what's up guys welcome to my channel i am super excited about tonight's reaction because urine is back finally finally it's been over a year well i guess it's been around a year since her last comeback i don't know exactly how long it's been since she's been gone but it's felt like longer than a year because if you're new here um i started uh, reacting knowing a little bit about k-pop right about a few groups Three groups in particular, Everglow, Blackpink, and ITZY, who are my alts in K-pop. And within those groups, Jisoo, Cheryoung, and Yirin are my alt K-pop female biases. And you can imagine, with that being said, what this has all been like for me, because I'm still new to K-pop, right? I haven't lost a member or a member uh, or one of my biases hasn't left a group and uh, none of my groups have disbanded yet, things like that. So like I was really worried that this was going to be my first experience with that. And it turns out it's not, which I'm so, 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 so happy about. Now, uh, Everglow is back with a Christmas performance of Don't Ask, Don't Tell from their uh, last Melody album. I've heard it. I heard it before I started reacting. Love the song, uh, but it's not about the song. It's about this uh, holiday performance. It's about seeing them together again, and it's about urine. So let's check this out. This is Everglow with Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And the song has been playlist. I don't know if I'm going to talk much of this. I just want to enjoy it. Yes. So beautiful. Ooh, on done that hair. They're all beautiful. Love the choreo. I'm not going to get into the music, guys. But I do love the don't ask, don't tell part. Mia. She's my bias wrecker in this group. They all look so freaking amazing. I missed her so much. That hair. I'm noticing some things in this song that I didn't notice just listening to it on playlist, but I'm not even going to get into it. I apologize. I actually know. Sorry, not sorry. And I don't know if I'm just biased, but I feel like I'm seeing urine in pretty much every shot, which is by design. Stop. It's such a good song, too. I don't know that I've ever seen uh, choreo for this song. But I love this choreo because it's just fun. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but this is cranked up right now. I 
as usual with them. Now, I am obviously super, super biased, but yes, I feel like, which is fitting, right? This is this is her comeback, right? This is her reintroduction uh, into the group, so it would be fitting if I if it, if it wasn't just biased. You guys let me know, but I feel like I was seeing her more than I wasn't seeing her, uh, and more than any other member, even on parts that weren't hers, or she was very apparent in the background. Could just be the choreo and the way it was shot, but I have a feeling, obviously, that was probably by design. And even though the song isn't really talking about, like, uh, it's talking about something totally different, the Don't Ask, Don't Tell is very telling, too, that they chose that song. But they probably also chose that song just because it's nice and light and fun, right? It's not very wintry, but it's very fun, and it's a very fun way to to bring her back. And it was amazing. Holy shit, dude. I, I got to tell you, man, I, I don't know. I don't want to get into these things because it's just like, it's. Ugh, I just don't. I don't. We have these conversations in Discord, and it's like once you start going down that rabbit hole, it's like, no, I don't want to go there. I'm just going to enjoy the fact that she's back and that Everglow is, I mean, they're back, right? But I mean, this isn't a comeback. We're still waiting for a comeback and all that stuff. But my thoughts about that are ever since the Blackpink uh, comeback, uh, it w- I was filled with so much emotion because they had been gone for a, lo- uh, for a while, right? Or longer than other K-pop artists. This felt the same way too. I'm feeling that emotion and that excitement. And this whole time, while I've been kind of worried about their future and what's going to happen with them, they've been working this whole time, right? They've been doing things this whole time and staying busy. So I started to think like, what if they're actually doing that? What if they're actually leaning more towards that black pink model and just taking their time and working on something really, really, really great or a next step for them? right and to come back even stronger so either way whatever the motives are you know whatever took them uh this long just to come back as a unit they are here now and i'm hoping for a proper comeback very very soon or the you know in the beginning of the year but you guys let me know if there are any rumblings about that uh uh, let me know in the comments but either way this has been playlist so i can't say the normal thing because this has been playlist for a long time but i was so happy to see them together so If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.